Hello, I'm Caroline, and this is Energy Balance Vinyasa. Today's class is a restorative vinyasa flow. This practice is a slow flow that features gentle and restorative poses, which are linked together into sequences and synchronized with the breath. It is deeply relaxing and works to increase joint flexibility and mobility. Before beginning this or any other exercise program, you should consult with a physician to make sure that practicing yoga is appropriate for you. If you have high or low blood pressure, spinal problems, or any other medical conditions or injuries, consult with your doctor to see if any modifications are necessary for your practice. If you are pregnant, you should be in a prenatal yoga class. If during the practice you feel any pain or discomfort, you can return to the previous pose, take a child's pose, or come into supine bent knees. You should avoid this pose until a physician can be consulted to make sure that it is appropriate for you. Be safe and enjoy your practice. Now let's begin. Lie down on your back with your knees bent and the soles of your feet flat to the mat for supine bent knees. Supine bound angle Supta Baddha Konasana. Now bring the soles of your feet together and open your knees out wide to the sides. Try to rotate your inner thighs outward, pressing the outer thighs away from each other, bringing the knees closer to the mat without forcing them down to the floor. You can either rest your arms along your sides with the palms facing up, or you can bring one hand to your heart and the other hand to your belly. Gaze straight up towards the ceiling or close your eyes. As you rest in this pose, begin to observe your breath without trying to control the length of your inhales or exhales. Start to breathe into the abdomen, visualizing it like a balloon, expanding the belly with each breath in and allowing it to deflate 
with each breath out. Inhale and feel the navel rising. Exhale and let it draw in towards the spine, focusing the movement of the breath into the abdomen instead of the chest. Inhale, navel rising. Exhale, draw it in towards the spine. Continue to breathe. Inhale and close your knees together, coming back to supine bent knees. Supine hamstring stretch. Supine figure four stretch, Supta Kapotasana. Inhale, then exhale, release the bind, uncross your legs, and bring the soles of your feet back to the floor for supine bent knees, supine hamstring stretch. Supine figure four stretch, Supta Kapotasana. Inhale, then exhale, 
Release the bind. Uncross your legs and bring the soles of your feet back to the floor for supine bent knees. Wind relieving pose, Pavana Muktasana. Easy pose, Sukhasana. Then roll up, cross your lower legs, and come up into a cross legged seat. Urdva Hastasana, hands to sky, engage your core, exhale, then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead alongside your ears with the palms apart and facing each other. Seated forward bend. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine and reach up through the hands. Then exhale and begin to bend forward from the hips, keeping a straight spine as you fold. Then inhale and lift back up to sitting, keeping a straight spine, coming back to easy pose, Sukhasana. Plant your hands on the mat in front of you, then exhale and roll over your shins bringing the tops of your shins and the feet to the mat for table pose, Barmanasana. Inhale, then exhale to cat pose, Marjariasana, rounding the spine. Engage your core and draw the navel up towards the spine. Tuck your tailbone, press down through the hands and tuck the chin in towards your chest. Gaze between your thighs. Inhale to cow pose, Bittalasana, arching your spine by pressing the hips down and lifting your tailbone up towards the sky. Draw the shoulder blades down and back, opening and lifting the chest. Look straight ahead, lifting the chin slightly. Exhale to cat pose, drawing the navel up towards the spine. Tuck the chin in towards your chest. 
Inhale to cow pose, arching your spine. Draw the shoulder blades down and back and look straight ahead. Exhale to cat pose. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat pose. Inhale to cow. Exhale to cat pose. Inhale to cow. Then exhale and bring the spine back to a neutral position or table pose. Wide child's pose, Prasarita Balasana. Separate the knees as wide as your mat and bring the big toes to touch. Inhale. Then as you exhale, sink your hips down and back while stretching your arms out in front of you with the palms facing down. Bring your forehead to the mat. Then inhale and come back up to table pose, Barmanasana. Now bring your knees to touch and sit back onto your heels, bringing your hands to rest on your knees or thighs. Your thighs should be resting on your calf muscles with the tops of your feet flat to the mat. Gaze forward. This is Thunderbolt Pose, Vajrasana. Inhale. Engage your quadriceps and press the hips up and forward, lifting the glutes away from the heels. Coming up to stand on the knees in a kneeling position. Bring your hands up to rest on your hips. Supported camel pose, Ustrasana 1. Exhale and bring your hands to your lower back and begin to lift your chest up and back while pressing your hips forward, lengthening and arching through the back. Press down into the knees, shins, and the tops of the feet. As you continue to press your hips forward, then inhale and start to slowly roll back up, coming back up to stand on the knees in a kneeling position. Lower your arms down by your sides. High prayer, Urdva Hastasana. Then inhale and sweep your arms up and overhead alongside your ears bringing your palms to touch gaze up towards your hands inhale 
reach up through the hands, then exhale and start to fold forward. Bring your hands down to the mat and come onto your hands and knees for table pose. Plank on the knee. Exhale. Inhale. And step the knees back about six to eight inches. Keeping the shins and the tops of the feet flat to the mat. Then exhale and shift the shoulders forward so that the knees, hips, and shoulders form one long line. Inhale, then begin to sink your hips down towards the mat while arching through the back and lifting the chest for upward facing dog, Ardva Mukha Svanasana. Then exhale, bend your elbows straight back and slowly lower your chest and shoulders down to the mat or reverse corpse pose, add vasana. Bring your forehead to the mat. and rest your arms down by your sides with the palms facing down. Separate your legs about hip distance apart and keep them parallel to one another. The tops of your feet should be flat to the mat. The toes pointing straight back behind you You can either close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Relax your neck and shoulders. And relax your lower back. Feel your body melting into the floor with each exhale. Inhale and turn your head to the left, bringing your right ear to the mat. Again, relax your neck and shoulders and feel a gentle stretch in your neck. You can close your eyes or gaze towards the side of your mat. Just rest here for a few moments. Relax and breathe deeply. Then inhale and bring your forehead back to the mat. You can either close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Relax your neck and your shoulders and relax your lower back. Feel your body melting into the floor with each exhale. Inhale and turn your head to the right bringing your left 
ear to the mat. Again, relax your neck and shoulders and feel a gentle stretch in your neck. You can close your eyes or gaze towards the side of your mat. Then inhale and bring your forehead back to the mat. You can either close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Relax your neck and your shoulders and relax your lower back. Feel your body melting into the floor with each exhale. Sphinx Pose, Salamba Bhujangasana. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders with your forearms and the palms of your hands flat to the mat. Then press down through the forearms and start to lift your head and chest up off the mat, arching the back. Gaze straight ahead. Then exhale, slide your hands back by your shoulders, the elbows lifting off the mat, and slowly lower your chest and shoulders down to the mat, coming back to Advasana, Cobra Pose, Ujjangasana, bring your hands to the mat underneath your shoulders and inhale and push down through the hands and start to lift your head and chest up off the mat exhale inhale draw your shoulder blades together opening the chest and pulling your shoulders down away from the ears then exhale and lower your chest and shoulders back down to the mat to Advasana. Bring your forehead to the mat and rest your arms by your sides with the palms facing down. Separate your legs about hip distance apart the tops of your feet to the mat. Close your eyes or gaze down at the mat. Inhale and bring your hands to the mat under your armpits. Then inhale 
and lift your head and chest up off the mat or upward facing dog. Then exhale, flip the feet, tuck the toes and send the hips up and back or downward facing dog. Addo Mukha Svanasana. Inhale and rise up onto your tiptoes. Bend your knees deeply and look towards your hands. Then exhale and slowly lower your knees down to the mat. Cross your lower legs and roll over your shins for staff bent knees. Deer pose. Fire log pose, Agni Stambhasana. Then uncross your legs and bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Deer pose.
fire log pose, Agni Stambhasana. Uncross your legs and bring the soles of your feet flat to the floor. Exhale. Inhale and raise your arms parallel to the floor with your hands by your knees. Then exhale and slowly lower yourself down and back into supine bent knees. Keep your knees and feet hip distance apart. Rest your hands by your sides with the palms facing down. Gaze up towards the ceiling. Supine hamstring stretch. Supine figure four stretch. Supta capotasana. Inhale, then exhale, release the bind, uncross your legs, and bring the soles of your feet back to the floor. For supine, bent knees. Supine, hamstring stretch.
supine, figure four stretch, supta, capotasana. Inhale, then exhale, release the bind, uncross your legs, and bring the soles of your feet back to the floor. Happy baby, Ananda Balasana. Inhale, exhale, and release the feet. Then draw the legs together and lower the feet back down to the mat. One legged wind relieving. Ika Pada Pavana Muktasana. One-legged supine twist, Jatara Parivartanasana, two. Then inhale and roll everything back to the center of your mat, coming back to supine bent knees, one-legged wind relieving, Ika Pada Pavana Muktasana. One-legged supine twist, Jatara Parivartanasana, two. Then inhale and roll everything back to the center of your mat, coming back to supine bent knees. Wind relieving pose, Pavana Muktasana.
and finally take a deep breath in and then release everything down into Shavasana. Lying on your back with your eyes closed. Let your feet fall open to the sides slightly more than hip width apart. Let your arms rest by your sides slightly away from the body with the palms face up and open. Relax your fingers. Relax your feet and breathe deeply. Just rest here for a few moments. Taking slow, deep breaths. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor with each exhale. Now begin to lengthen your exhales. Breathing in for a count of four, pausing for a count of one, then breathing out for six counts, and pausing for a count of one at the end of the exhale. Repeat this process 10 times. Breathing into the abdomen. Feeling the navel rise with each inhale and draw in towards the spine with each exhale. Now release this pattern 
while continuing to breathe deeply. Just observe the breaths without trying to control it. Continue to observe your breath as you inhale, then exhale. Feel the sensations of breathing in your body. Let your attention focus on wherever you feel your breath most noticeably. If you feel your mind starting to wander, know that this is normal. Just notice that this is happening. Acknowledge the thoughts and let them go. Then bring your awareness back to your breath. Now bring your awareness to your body. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melt into the floor with each exhale. Now bring your awareness to your head, the back of your head, the top of your head, your forehead, and the temples. Bring your awareness to your eyebrows, your eyes, and your eyelids your third eye, the nose, the cheeks, and the ears. Bring your awareness to your upper lip, 
the lower lip, the tongue, the palate, and the sinuses. Bring your awareness to your jaw. Relax your jaw. Now bring your awareness to your whole head. Feel it relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let it be heavy. Bring your awareness to your neck. Relax your neck. Now bring your awareness to your shoulders. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melt into the floor. On the next exhale, let all the tension go. Now bring your awareness to your arms. Bring your awareness to your left arm, the left shoulder, the bicep, the tricep, the elbow, the forearm, the left wrist, the back of the hand, the palm. Bring your awareness to your left thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your little finger. Feel your whole left arm relaxing. Now bring your awareness to your right arm, the right shoulder, the bicep, the tricep, the elbow, the forearm, the right wrist, the back of the hand, the palm. Bring your awareness to your right thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, your ring finger, and your little finger. Feel your whole right arm relaxing. Now feel both of your arms together. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let them be heavy. Now bring your awareness to your torso, the shoulders, the collarbones. Focus on the chest. Feel the upper abdomen, the middle abdomen, the lower abdomen and the navel. Bring your awareness to your upper back, your shoulder blades, your spine, the middle back, and the lower back. Feel your whole back relaxing. Feel it melt into the floor on the next exhale. Now bring your awareness to your hips, the glutes, and the sit bones. Feel them relaxing. Feel them melting into the floor on the next exhale. Let all the tension release. Bring your awareness to your legs. 
bring your awareness to your left leg. Feel the left hip, the quadriceps, the hamstring, the knee joints, the calf, and the shin, the left ankle, the heel, the top of the foot, the sole. Bring your awareness to your left big toe, the second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the little toe. Feel your whole left leg relaxing. Now feel the right leg, the right hip, the quadriceps, the hamstring, the knee joint, the calf, and the shin, the right ankle, the heel, the top of the foot, the sole. Bring your awareness to your right big toe, the second toe, third toe, fourth toe, and the little toe. Feel your whole right leg relaxing. Now feel both of your legs together. Feel both of your legs relaxing. Feel them melt into the floor on the next exhale. Let them be heavy. Now bring your awareness back to your body. Feel your whole body together. Feel your whole body relaxing. Feel it melting into the floor with each exhale. Just relax. Just let everything go. Inhale and open your eyes. Open and close your eyes three times slowly. Awaken. This concludes the practice. I wish you peace, contentment, and bliss. Om Shanti Santosha Ananda